This is a musallus in Aparsha Tasri and Surah. Tasri means when you give birth, you birth Tasriya. When, when she, when the lady gives birth to a human being, therefore that one of the highlights of human beings are the production of human beings. He bring the shamo to the world. Now, one of the very essential points of the Nishamot is on this earth is the highlight of a person is the power of speech. The power of speech is the highlight of a person. The Torah talks about in this parasha giving birth to a child and Torah talks about what could be come out from the damage of not speaking properly and both together means one thing. In other words, you are capable of giving birth to highlight of the creation of Abba Baruch And what's the highlight of this creature, human beings, is power of speech. Torah says, a lady that gives birth has to bring a korban. And Torah finishes with the korban that the lady has to bring, korban of Abba Baruch Baruch And then Torah talks about Sarat. Now, before she say, what's the semichut? Why Torah talks about the Kurban that he has to bring and right away goes to Sara'at or don't give the Besar of Seyed or Snafachat. What is it? Okay, Chazal tell us that if a lady doesn't bring the Kurban to the Kohen, then Hashem says, Chayecha, you don't bring the Kurban, you don't give Hodot HaOpshbarku for your birth to come to Kohen. I make sure that you're going to come to Kohen. You don't come to be thankful. You don't come to give Hodot HaKadosh Baruch Hu, bring a Korban. And make sure that you have to come to Kohen. Why do you have to come to Kohen? Because of Sarah. Because of the Sarah, you're going to have a sin of Sarah. Now the question is, what's the connection? What's the connection? Now, since he didn't bring the Korban, Hashem makes him, forces her to come to Korban to bring the Korban. Why this said? By Sarat, and especially we know Sarat mainly primary comes, comes from seven Averot, but primary comes from Russian Hall. What does it have to do with this? Torah is teaching us unbelievable lesson about Russian Hall. Rambam puts the Hilchot of Russian Hall not in the, in, the, in, in the chapter that talks about Dibur and talking, he puts in the chapter that talks about characteristics. Rambam is teaching us the issue of Lashon Hara, gossip, and talking against other people. It's not the issue in Dibur and speech. It has to do with your midot. It has to be with characteristics that you have. You are somebody who has a positive perspective and he looks positive in the world or negative. No, this lady, why doesn't she bring Korban? Why? Because she is not thankful. HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave her child. Child is the greatest gift in the world. Person could spend millions of dollars and will not get it. And more than that, the child is in the Shoma. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is depositing the Shoma that was next to him to to his parents. It's giving them the greatest gift. Once this lady, she's not realizing, she's not aware of the gift. She doesn't appreciate, is not grateful to thank HaKadosh Baruch to bring a Korban for Hashem, to give Huda to HaKadosh Baruch Therefore, such a lady trains such a people at home to be negative. Because it goes hand in hand. Once you don't appreciate, once you don't see your blessings, then what happens to you? The cup has to be full whether it's full with positive force or negative force. Once you don't bring out the positivity, once we don't go after positivity and appreciate to be grateful, the cup doesn't stay empty. With the full with negativity, with the negative point, with the how unfortunate I am, or how am I, when there's nothing good about me. This is the way that it goes. All of it was here. And he was talking about getting a good shidduch. What's the best shidduch? That's one of the points that brought up. Somebody is thankful. Somebody appreciates. Because once you do hatob or you do good and appreciate, then it makes a good relationship, makes a good thing.
somebody is not appreciated, doesn't appreciate whatever that you give, then how could you live with somebody like that? Therefore, Torah here is telling us that this lady that doesn't bring a korban because she's not grateful, she has a home of not positive perspective, negative perspective, and that encourages, that produces children with negativity, with Dr. Hart. On somebody's positive and he has a positive perspective, it doesn't say. Now, whenever that observed, this is a person says, gets his salad, he has to come to coin. Now, the apostle says, but you done it, very good with you it, said to be on the road, go On the day that the coin sees, on the day of on the day of the thing, but Khash is Tom. No, Khazal say what do we mean on the day? Why say Bayon? No, but I'm on the she says there are times that the coin would announce that it's Tommy. Sometimes that's an unknown. What does that mean? Now do you imagine a khatan has to go to Khu? And if so, what should we do? If he announced that it's Tommy, then he has to stay out. All of the wedding would be turned over. Or somebody has to go to a regal. He gets sorrow. Cohen sees this thing. He has to be, he has to announce that stomach. But Torah says, Beyond, there is a day that you talk, there's a day that you keep quiet. Even though that this thing is coming, you don't announce that stomach. You give him seven dollars of pupa, you give him this the says of Yom Tobin to him, to his dress, and to his home, till after Yom Tobin. Good. That's what Torah says. Beautiful, beautiful idea, beautiful thing. Let him have a good. But there's a question here. What's the question? The question is like this. What does Hashem want from us? What does Hashem want from him? He's a khatan, he's a regal. What do I want from Hashem? Hashem, if you want him to become Tommy, give it to him and let the coin announce that he's Tommy. If you don't want him to become Tommy, why do you give it to him? Where did it come from? It came from you. You don't want him to become Tommy. You tell a coin, don't announce it. So why do you give it to him? Why is the rainbow? What is it? Here is a very good place to learn about Hashkoch, about Hashkoch, to understand life better. Imagine there is a Chatan under the Chupar, and he has Salat all over his body. He has Salat, and everybody sees. Whoever watches this Chatan, the world, everybody on earth would watch this Chatan. They have one question in their mind. What's the question? HaKadosh Baruch from all days on the calendar, you chose this day. This day has to be the day to give him Salat. Give him! After, before. Why? That would come only this day. All of the world are wondering. Why is it happening like that? But the whole story are not wondering. God is so understand. They understand what's happening here. Torah tells us, Hashem gives it, don't announce it. Why? Because see, Bedin Shoshamayim are working so hard on his behalf to become a Chaton. Bedin Shoshamayim is working on his behalf to go through Regev. The only Zehu, the only merit that they find that he could make it to go through the Regev or to become a Chaton is to give him this stain, the shock that he gets, the turn over that he comes, that makes him be fitted to become a khatan or to go through the to, regular. To, to Otherwise, he would not have made it. Otherwise, he would not become. But the Shusha mind works so hard and figures out that the only way that we could do the Hesed of Akhadushwar, the father of merciness sees the only way that we could send him to Chupa is through this. Therefore, they decide to send him. Unbelievable point. What the rest of the world are wondering and they don't understand, the high soil understand better, the high soil understand. That's why we find also by the Gezerah of Haman was by the before Pesach, Mordechai made the Gezerah not to have Pesach three days. Zorak Adosh asked why? Pesach is a good time. Let them eat matzah tomorrow, and that would help God Israel more. You no, know, that time of Rahamin, we need to be helpful. We need that time to get together to make it to happen. A lot of times people will wonder why this happens on Pesach, what happens on this day. The Chaton is the regular. 
that Akadosh Baruch Hu is using the time to, to promote chesed, to promote kindness. Uh, Akadosh Baruch Hu works very hard in, 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 in all of the Bedin Shishamayim to see what's the best for the person to happen. And, and here, what's best for the person over here, this happens. And that is a secret of Bedin Shishamayim, how he deals with, with, with people.